Hey, what's up, man? My name's John. Welcome to John's Bus Conversion Video, brought to you by the makers of School Bus. <laughs> This video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not a how-to video. I don't know how to convert a bus. I don't know what I'm doing. Anything you see in the video, you ought to assume I did it wrong unless you're told otherwise by a qualified professional. And I ain't that. Oops, I'm not even a banjo player. Doesn't stop me, right? Hey man, this episode of John's Bus Conversion Project is dedicated to Steph and Maisha at Jabu's Pub in Seattle. The friendliest bar in the Milky Way. Hey guys. Alright, so let's check out the bus. You can see it's kind of messy in here. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of dirt on the floor. The lady uh, I bought it from put this kind of this uh, straw and mud down on the floor, which actually did look kind of cool, but not a good solution for a school bus. So, you can see I'm in the process of pulling all that up, and that's a big mess. Um, this right here, with all this junk piled on it, is a bed. And um, the DMV, when I registered it, the DMV said it had to have a cook stove. So I threw this together. I got a cook stove and propane and Craigslist, 50 bucks. And then, uh, so I got it registered, and then I just got a letter last week saying that I have to show that I've got running water and an ice box and blah, 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 for at least four of the following. They list a bunch of stuff. So now I'm kind of playing catch up here. I'm going to kind of tack that stuff in there, and I'm going to have to deal with that first. Um, and uh, get it officially registered now with the DMV and cleared and then I can start kind of going back over it and do the floor and everything else but the uh, project for today is to get all this mud off the floor and I'll get all this cleaned up and you can see that the place is a mess at the moment but Maybe a quick walk through of what it looks like. Most of the stuff seems to work okay. There, you see, they started putting some insulation on right here. Uh, but this is all going to come up. I think I'm going to actually put spray foam in here. I'm not sure. And then this is a carpenter school bus, so there's been a recall of these because of uh, faulty welding up here in this, where the roof and the ceiling meet, right here. And so I'm going to pull all these rivets out and take all this apart and have that inspected and fixed if need be. Do a quick look at the outside. It used to be State of Oklahoma Resource Center. It says right here. And you see the rubber's not in great shape, but it's not terrible, at least to my eye. But I got a bald one in the front here. And on the other side, actually. I guess it's that one, yeah. The bus only has 53,000 miles on it. And, you know, I asked my friend, uh, let's see if I can get a shot of that. Is that really believable? And he said, yeah. Um, he said, yeah, he believes it does because uh, the engine obviously is really in good shape, so. Anyway, all right, so um, the DMV is telling me I've got to um, install, make the, the bus a functioning RV. Um, so I am doing that as quickly as I can. 
I just thought I'd do a quick shot of what I got here before it gets dark because it's about to. I got this sink at uh, a recycle place in Seattle and it was uh, I think it was like 15 bucks or something. It's an RV sink so let's see it's got the pump there and it's stainless steel. It's kind of nice. It's got the uh, hose coming off there and the the trap in the bottom. And then I got this, this is sort of Seattle recycle place. And then I got this uh, cabinet also. It's like a, I guess, no, it's like a kitchen cabinet or something. That was $10. And you can see the sink almost fits into the cabinet there. It's pretty, let's see, let me back this guy up here. It's pretty close. And uh, what I'm going to do is take this drawer out here and just make it get rid of the drawer and use the the front of it as a false front and then put the sink in there and then down here in the bottom um, I've got I'm gonna have some water tanks so I have an intake and a, um, a you know a, a gray water tank underneath there and of course take that shelf out and so this will be my little sink unit self-contained and functional uh, I got this cooler over here on Craigslist for like 40 bucks and this is well this is actually an ice box so so you put ice this is actually goes up here you put ice in this thing put it up there and these things actually work pretty well I used to have one of these a long time ago they're made for RV use and then let's head on outside here so this is my instant bathroom out here and you can see I'm using PVC pipe and uh, just kind of making this thing here. There's a toilet I got down in Eugene, which is where I'm at right now, for 25 bucks. It's a, like a boat toilet or RV, self-contained. And I made this little platform for it. I'm about to screw all together. And this will be the, the bathroom. Grandpa, this thing is weird. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, my name's Eliana, and I'm 11 years old, and I'm awesome. Okay, right now he's just trying to get it past the DMV. It's going to be better later. So this is the fridge. See the fridge, yummy. And that's the stove, and that's the bathroom, bathroom. and it's just a big tarp using oh, pipe. There's a toilet inside. Yes, there's a toilet inside. Bathroom. Sink right outside of the tarp bathroom. selling stuff like this. Here's some bad news. So anyways, Grandpa's gonna convert the bus to Greece! This is the driver's seat. And that's the steering wheel. And that's the thing you do to open the door. Let me show you. Uh, I'll show you. No, I want to do it. When you... Driver's open the door. 
Oh yeah, before we, when we bought this it had an awful mud floor. It was like muddy concrete stuff. It was mud, but it was like concrete. So, it sucked. Grandpa, can you see my face? Just your nose. <laughs> no, can you see my face? Just your head. Your hair. Oh. There, like that. You can actually do this, you know. Oh, cool. So, um, before we bought the bus, it had a mud hut floor, and we had to tear the mud hut floor off, and it sucked. <clears throat> but now we've teared it off, and... <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. And... Uh, yeah, we teared it off. Grandpa, I'm talking to the audience.